Legends of Vinyl 2015 DJ Artist Hall of Fame Seminar Awards Ceremony and After Party, Wednesday, August 19th. You are watching In The Now Show featuring Nico. We are here with the Legends of Vinyl. Thank you. Good, how good. are Very you? Very nice to, to meet you. you. Nice meeting you too, thank All right. you. You're an absolute legend. Thank Tell you me a so little much. bit about what's gonna go down tonight wow. and what you expect. Absolutely wonderful, this is historic. Tonight we are meeting people that we know each other for 45 years. Okay. And we haven't seen each other, most of us, because we always work it. We haven't seen each other for 38 years, uh -huh. okay? So, most of these people are producers, record promoters, uh, DJs, the legendary DJs, the real deal. Real deal. The pioneers. I started back in the late 60s, early 70s. Most of these people are first generation DJs. Wow. And it is a wonderful feeling to know that we're all going to share one night here at Hunters, and we are going to celebrate and honor most of these people. Jelvin Benitez, yes, who I Jelvin, adore, and yes. he is what we worked to in many places. And uh, Frank Gore, another legend from yes. back in Crisco Disco, uh, down here in Florida as well. So right, you'll, right. you know, you'll see a wonderful, wonderful array of DJs here. I, I cannot wait, and I really appreciate this interview. It was a pleasure oh meeting my God, you. It's a pleasure. And this is just the beginning of the night, so you Thank can look you. right there Thank and you. tell all the guests. All right, yes, we'll see you guys soon. All right, we are here with the world famous Bo Crane. Bo, how are you, man? Great tonight. Good, Great. good, good. We have you. We have a mixture of a variety of different celebrities, celebrity DJs. You're in the scene from the very, very beginning. I'm a disco you, dinosaur. You are uh -huh. a legendary person, uh -huh. and you know that. You actually are a pioneer, if I may, and you have started this whole industry of music, and you help share the music. Can you explain exactly uh, how you did that? with the record pools and the record labels and how you actually became who you are right now. You're a living legend. I know you don't see it, but the facts alone. Relax, relax, Nico, relax. Those are the facts alone. I started as a DJ on the radio and I morphed into clubs. Okay. And because I knew all the promoters from the, uh, the days when I was on the radio, uh -huh. they would give me extra copies of the records to give to my fellow club DJs. Okay. And it got to be a pain because the DJs would come over and see me at all times of the day and night. Sure, uh, to, get you know, the track. to get the hottest tracks. So I started a record pool patterned after the one in New York okay. at 99 Prince Street. And it kind of grew from there. Plus, the record promoters wanted a way to uh, uh, publicize the records they were giving me. So I started the Bo Crane Disco Report. And it became a kind of a Bible down here, what was hot in the clubs and uh, at the discos. OK. The Legends of Vinyl, we are live, Fort Lauderdale, doing what we do. Gentlemen, you guys are honors, scholars, and pioneers. I'm honored to be standing next to you in photo booth and whatever I'm doing with you guys. <laughs> Loving you guys, for real. I'm honored to be standing up. <laughs> I'm honored to be. I was honored just to interview you. I knew I was going to interview we'll with you. That. How you doing? I'm doing just great. How could I not? We are with the Legends of Vinyl. I'm with the Prince of Sunshine. How are you, my man? I'm doing fine. Ron Lewis Smith II, the Prince of Sunshine. I'm here at the Legend of Vinyls, representing my whole entire family, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Spank, Sunshine Sound. We are the number one Grammy Award winners, Hollywood, Walk of Fame. We do it all. Everybody know that TK, we are the TK family, Sunshine Sound, here in Miami, Florida. I'd like to take a moment, and these can take a little bit of time, because people tend to like to give you a lot of long discography, but I'm going to ask the panels to do me a favor and give me their shortest accomplishments, I mean, as far as as far as far introducing themselves, um, a little bit of discography. Maybe one of the uh, panelists up here, because a lot of people here may not know who these people are, and the people that are want to know the accomplishments as well, so if you would uh, uh, kind of keep it down in the audience, I'm going to have a cocktail with you guys, don't worry. Hi, my name is John Luongo, and I've had kind of a, an interesting story. Uh, I started out in, um, in Boston, and I went to Northeastern University to get my degree as a civil engineer. I wanted to be an architect, but I couldn't get accepted into MIT. They had too many people. So I went into Northeastern, got a degree there, but as I was going through school the first year, me and some of my friends happened to walk around the city of Boston. We stumbled into this place called 
downstairs was called uh, the Bull and Finch Bar, which you'll know is, you'll see as Cheers. And upstairs was a club. It was a, it was a club. There was nobody in there, just the disc jockey. He was spinning to no one. It was a judge's chamber, and I said, you know what, this looks like it'd be fun. I was thinking there'd be people there, of course, eventually. And, um, and I gave him my name in a matchbook, and I said, you know, if you ever need anybody, please have him call. And a week later, I got a phone call, Peter quit, and he said, you'd be the person for the job. I started spinning records in the club. I freaked out of my mind. It was a Monday, and I'm thinking, oh, God, when do you need me, Friday? So I went to the local record store, but music, got everything I could, tried to go in there and figure out how to play, because there was no cue system, which is kind of interesting. So it was a left turntable and a right turntable, and it was on, on, and that's it. Good evening, my name is Ray Caviano. Hi, Ray! Uh, I didn't, you know, they talked about college. I went to college later, I went to Vassar. But my first record company job, I was a high school dropout, uh, and what have you, from the Manhattan East Village, L, known as the Lower East Side, born in Little Italy. And, uh, Started not just in dance music per se. I worked for Rolling Stone when I was a teenager and went on to work for various music magazines, counterculture magazines back in the day, <clears throat> including and working for Andy Warhol, a magazine called Interview. That led to a job at London Records. We are alive. Company B, we're doing what we do. Ladies, you guys are absolute legends. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have been up to. Come together right here so I can get right on the side. You guys look so good next to each other. What's going on, girl? Uh, we just got off tour okay. with, uh, oh my goodness. Um, Pacific Ocean, Pacific Group. Pacific Coast. Yes. Pacific okay, Coast and how was that? How, what uh, cities you guys awesome. go to? awesome. We went to um, like the Ontario, okay. Colorado. All right. And then what are you guys up to now? We're in a studio right now. All right, so you guys come out with another album, another track, yes. another single. We got yes. another sing single coming, coming out really yes. soon. Yes. Awesome, super yes. excited. Oh, we are too. You guys are excited <laughs> yes. too? Definitely. And what about any of, of, of your followers, as far as any of the younger followers that you guys have um, inspired to be singers? Possibly any of your kids, your nieces, your yes. nephews, oh, definitely. something like that. People that are in your family that saw you guys perform, right. doing what you guys do, and they're like, you know something? I would like to follow in your footsteps. Any of that going down in your family? Yes. yes. My mo my daughter um, plays piano and she's in the studio right now. See, I knew it. I could so. feel it, girl. I knew it. You were like, yeah. I got to better get, get a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm not getting any younger. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know how, to, how did it happen, girl. We don't even know. I woke up. I woke up like this. I'm like, what the heck is going down? We're back with Bob Miro. Bob, how are you, man? Very good, thank you. Now, we're with the Legends of Vinyl. You are here because you are a legend. Can you tell my viewers exactly what you've been up to for uh, this past 10, 20 years? <laughs> and I'll be nice, if I may? <laughs> uh, what about in, in between, you, you mean? No, no, I mean, in regards to your stardom, how you started, uh, what, what did your pinnacle made you to, to uh, well, make it? Well, I came here in 1981 for a club called Backstreet. Okay. There was one in Atlanta, and then this one opened in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And uh, it was a massive club. A lot of people yeah. came here, including Mr. Ray. Oh, yeah, we love Ray. Yeah. And uh, it was very interesting because it had a mixture of people, all kinds of people. Sure. Black, white, green, yellow, blue, everything. And uh, it was a good time. He currently is executive producer of Studio 54 Radio, as well as his show In the Mix with Jelly Bean Benitez. His talents take him all around the globe doing circuit parties everywhere. Here's my friend, John Jelly Bean Benitez. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> John, baby, thank you so much for being here this evening. It is indeed my pleasure, John, to give you this, present you with this award from the Legends of Vinyl family. Everybody in Europe says hello, Pinky Velasquez, as you well know, another Puerto Rican. <laughs> and uh, we all love John Benitez because of his talent and all of his doing. Let's keep it up. Thank you, John. Uh, thank you so much, Luis. Um, Wow, I was thinking today that I've been DJing for over 40 years and it's been a lot of fun. And walking in here um, reminded me of why I started playing records. I've seen so many DJs. I was like the biggest DJ groupie ever. <laughs> I used to go and say, what is that song? What is that song? And 
you know, it's great to see a lot of them here. And um, and John Luongo, I just saw John, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's such an inspiration, Ray Caviano. Wow, this is amazing. And it was funny because when I was DJing, I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still straight, but all, the, all my DJ friends were gay, and here I walk in here, and, and nothing's changed. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thank you so much, and it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you, John. Never doing good either. Hi. Hi, we're, we're Company, Company B, B, and you're, you're watching In, in the, the Now Show, featuring Nico. Hi, I'm Jolly Bean Benitez, and I'm so happy to be part of the Legends of Vinyl 2015 Awards. You're missing a great party. Hope to see you soon.